Love it or hate it, short form video content is here to stay. The way we consume content online has changed. And if you're not creating short form video content for your online platforms, you are missing a trick. So in this video, I'm gonna walk and talk you through how I create my short form content from my long form content using ScreenFlow. And I repurpose that into YouTube Shorts, whether it's Instagram Reels or even TikTok. So I'm just gonna jump on over into my ScreenFlow account and show you how I actually create my short form video content. So here we are in ScreenFlow and this is actually my platform of choice when it comes to video editing. Now you have to ask yourself, do I want to create long form video content or short form video content? It's entirely up to you, your strategy of creating content online. I focus on YouTube and Google if you followed any of my content before, so I create long form video content first and the strategy that I use is I simply cut out short form video content for socials like shorts, reels or if you're on TikTok. But this is not necessarily the way of doing things. Um, to get more exposure and to actually get more engagement you might find better results if you create bespoke short form video content. Now when I have my long form video content all made out in um, in this format, you can actually, I'll, I'll link you to another video actually showing you how I create all of this. But when I try and grab a short form video content, what I tend to do is I've got um, in my long form, I've got all my audio, I've got my video and I've got my slide share. I just delete all of this because we want a really short, succinct, um, short form video content. So I'm gonna delete all of my call to actions and basically, when you create short form video content, it's the top of funnel. It's the brand awareness. It's so people actually see and engage with your brand and then they might go to a long form or even go to a sort of podcast video linked interview. So what I'm gonna do for ease of use, I would scrub through this and just see if there was anything here that I found interesting, if I covered out any points that I want to actually repurpose on a short form video content. So I'd probably re-watch this entire video and try and pick out some key points. But what I'm gonna do for the purpose of this uh, demonstration is I'm just gonna pick the intro, the hook. So the first few seconds that I actually speak to camera, I'm just gonna create a, a short piece of content from this. And as you can see, I'm speaking to camera, it's the hook, and then I, I say here, actually go deeper with me by watching the entire video. So I'm just gonna delete everything else past that first bit. So, and have an idea in your mind how long this piece of content is. Now, depending on what platform you're actually posting your short form content will depend on the length you want it to be. So if you're on TikTok, it could be up to three minutes um, or a minute or even 15 seconds. If you're on Instagram, it could go up to a minute or 90 seconds. Or if you're on YouTube shorts, it could could be anything up to a minute. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna make sure that this, this is actually 33 seconds, so it doesn't matter um, if it's uh, as short as 33, but some monetization uh, platforms actually use anything over a minute or depends on what platform you're on. So actually read the small print um, and understand if it can be monetized or can't. But the main thing is here is we're gonna try and change the, the long form into a short form. So it's really easy in ScreenFlow. Again, if you're using ScreenFlow, so make sure you've got the entire length here and that's all I want. So 33 seconds. If you go up to file and then if you go to document settings, now this is the key piece here. This is a 1080p, 1920 by 180. And then all we need to do here is if we look at, uh, we want a, a an iPhone. So I would go for like iPhone 8. This is the screen flow options currently. And then I would just go portrait. So. Uh, iPhone 8 or 8 uh, portrait plus portrait. So then you update that. And then you can see this is actually, if I zoom out of this, it's actually got it all in the um, the mobile phone view, like the, the portrait view. So all you need to do now is you need to stretch this canvas to actually fit. And then once you've stretched that canvas to fit, then you can readjust it. So if I'm off to one side, uh, you can actually move it from left to right. Um, it's, it actually shows you where the center line is, but if you're happy with that, I'm off, off to the right a little bit, it, it's entirely up to you, and just move it left or right. Then once you've actually got this, if you then click play, that will be your short form video content. 
Now, all you need to do now is um, go file and then you just click export. And then once I click export, making sure that it is the 100% of original, uh, you can call it something else if you like and then save it to your desktop. So that's just gonna export out into a short form video content. So I'm gonna pause this whilst this actually exports out into the video content we need. So that took roughly 15 seconds and then I've just saved that to my desktop and it looks something like this. So as you can see, this is good to go for any short form uh, mobile device, uh, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels um, or TikTok. And just making sure that you're happy with it once it's actually gone through. So this is the, the edited version for your short form content and make sure you understand what strategy you're gonna be using, whether if it is actually snipping up small elements of your long form content, or if you're gonna be doing bespoke uh, videos for your short form content. And just remember it is short, so actually try and make a point, um, either encourage someone or educate them or entertain them, but try and have, if you can, some sort of call to action, either in the description or the comments, but it's not as strong an indicator for those that actually uh, consume long form so if you want to use it you can just use it for um, for branding and overall awareness uh, strategy with your alongside your long form video content so that's it it's as simple as that and I would then look to take this short form piece of content either put some captions on it put some music behind it and then upload it to uh, any of the platforms that I mentioned previously now I do all this um, super simple within ScreenFlow and like I said, it's not the best method of doing it. It is a way of doing it. If you wanted to create bespoke short form content, you might see better results, but I scrutinize everything I do and I try and make everything as efficient as possible. That's why I do it this way for now. But I look to use ScreenFlow for everything and ScreenFlow is one of the tools that I use. I scrutinize every tool that I use in my online business to try and keep it as simple as possible. And if you want to have a look at my the, all the tools that I use, I've actually created a PDF downloadable checklist of every tool that I've scrutinized and I use to run this online business. You can get a copy today. Head over to timpeakman.com forward slash tools. Download the checklist. See which ones you're using, which ones you, you may be not using um, and go from there. So hopefully this video has provided some value to you and I look forward to seeing you again on another one soon.